Well, first here at noon, the state of Oklahoma has executed a man who kidnapped, raped, and murdered a 21-year-old University of Oklahoma student back in 1996. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Kristen Weaver. Anthony Sanchez had been on death row for nearly 20 years after he killed OU ballerina Julie Buskin. News on 6's Reagan Ledbetter is live at the Oklahoma State Penitentiary with the latest on today's execution. Reagan. Kirsten, today's execution started a few minutes late because the Department of Corrections staff was waiting on a last-minute decision by the U.S. Supreme Court. Now, in Anthony Sanchez's final words, he said he was innocent. He thanked his supporters, then called his lawyers the worst ever in the state of Oklahoma. Now, prosecutors say Sanchez kidnapped Julie Buskin from her Norman apartment back in 1996, forced her into a car, then drove her to Lake Stanley Draper, where Sanchez raped her and shot her in the back of the head. Cleveland County prosecutors say there was circumstantial evidence tying Sanchez to the brutal crime, but the smoking gun was Sanchez's DNA on Buskin's clothes. Sanchez challenged his conviction back in April, saying that his father admitted to killing Buskin before his father committed suicide last year. Sanchez had been on death row for 17 years. Now, witnesses to the execution say the process started at 10.08 this morning. Sanchez was declared unconscious by doctors at 10.14, then pronounced dead at 10.19. Sanchez as his spiritual advisor, Reverend Jeff Hood, was in the chamber with him, and Sanchez's aunt was in the viewing area, and she and Chan Sanchez waved at each other during the execution. Attorney General Gettner Drummond and his staff also attended the execution and says he talked with Julie Buskin's family several times leading up to today. On their behalf, I visited with them numerous times since uh, in the last nine months, before the execution and after the execution. They want me to convey their deepest regard to the Department of Corrections for their excellence in all manners and to the Attorney General's Office Victims uh, Services. Now, the next person Oklahoma is scheduled to put to death is Philip Hancock. He was sentenced to death in 2004 for the 01 murders of Robert Jett and James Lynch in Oklahoma County. He is set to die on November 30th. Now, today was the state's third execution this year and 10th since 2021. Live in McAllister, Reagan Ledbetter, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.